Um, so I, speaking of that, I am getting us on Facebook and then we will be live and ready to go. And uh, Good morning, Dee Dee. It's good to see you. Good morning. Yeah, thank you. It's good to see you too. And Jan, thank you so much for doing the scripture this morning. I appreciate it. <laughs> Just double check one more time. You know, it's funny. I don't know if, actually, I wonder if they named Zoom, the Zoom app for this. Because <laughs> so many times we get on, and I'm thinking of the old Zoom program. Okay. Showing my age here. Uh, that's, <laughs> I remember that. Joseph, what Joseph I brings out the, zoom, 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 uh, zoom. I think yeah. Joseph brings out the whimsical <laughs> musical side of us. Uh, well, I hate to say it, friends, but it is 8.01. And uh, good morning to everybody. <laughs> and um, it's Dio, good morning and welcome, Dee Dee, Jan, and everybody. Um, so today is a little unique for Shana and I, anyway, because we are out in the Pacific Northwest getting a chance to spend time with our family out here and uh, Shana's family as well. Shana's, for those who don't know, Shana's mom lives about four miles from my mom, <laughs> hey. uh, so we go back and forth, but uh, we're staying at my sister Dee Dee's house and her great hospitality, and uh, so it's been really fun to be out here, but uh, no one can complain about the cold here since we're all sort of in the same boat, it sounds like, uh, and unfortunately, we don't have Christina on today. She's, she may be on later, but uh, I think she really is enjoying her new church family and we and uh i think rob and i were talking about uh this during the week a little bit and the idea that um i guess what an honor it is that we've been able to watch this this pathway for christina and what hope it should give us all you know to sort of watch her go from really uh, someone who uh didn't identify as a christian and um, really didn't want to listen too much to the to the to the teachings of Jesus and you know really didn't have like a Christian family that we've helped provide for her and and from coming from the beginning of COVID she went on this journey with us with with each of us and I think we've all played a, a, a role in in her uh, her growth and uh, she's really excited about having been baptized and her her church community but she stays in touch so she she lets me know every week what's going on and she has made uh, a bunch of some scarves she makes these uh, fingerless mittens and i know she's mailing a bunch of that out for our next giveaway so with that said we're hoping she'll we'll see her later but uh that that's what we hope for but anyway Peace to all, and great to see you. And Joseph, would you like to, lead, would you care to lead us in a song? I'm going to mute people, or you can mute yourself. Meow, 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 meow. Lord, prepare me. Sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. With thanksgiving, I'll be sanctuary for you. One more time, Lord, prepare me to be sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. myself while Joseph and Andrew and Dio are playing because I start singing along. I hope you're all singing along as well. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. And it's just great. It's always 
what I love about Faithways is being able to do it wherever you are. <laughs> and uh, I am in the Pacific Northwest loving it. And um, just want to remind everyone that we are on Facebook and we want to thank everyone who gets on live from Facebook uh, for joining us. And it's a surprising group of people that do actually. I, it's not unusual for someone to say to me, oh yeah, I watch your services, you know, um, from from uh, Facebook. Uh, so let us begin with prayer and, uh, we need a lot of prayer. We need to remember why we pursue our spiritual life the way we do to try to get close with God. Awaken us, O God, shake us up, enliven us for the task ahead. Comfort us when we are distressed and in need of refreshment. Assure us that we are enough. Fill us and let us know that there will always be enough. And challenge us to be open-hearted and open-minded and to grow in your name. Mystify us, O oh God, and keep us filled with awe. Enlighten us, light the pathway to your truth. Heal us and make us whole. Inspire us to know that your hand is in all there is. O oh God, teach us to be students of compassion, justice, and truth. Forgive us our trespasses. Love us, O oh God, love us forever through all ages. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And good morning, good morning. Um, uh, Rob, we I turn to you for our affirmation. Absolutely. Good morning, everyone. So if you are healthy and bo body, mind, and spirit, that's awesome. You are welcome here. But a lot of us need healing in one way or another. You're also welcome here. Are you a sinner? Welcome to the human race. But we are created in the image of God. So there is godliness in us. So you are welcome. No matter your housing status, financial status, sexual orientation, where you live, who you know, you are welcome here. So come, join us. Let us practice together and see what God will do for us today. Amen. Thank you. Uh, and I was teasing a little bit, but my brother John with his sacred space, with his self-portrait, and <laughs> he didn't get it the first time, so I had to try it again. Yeah, I missed that one the first time, but it would have been just as good twice. Um, hey, I, uh, I'm sorry, it's a little disorganized sacred space this morning, but it's an important one to me. I've had that uh, photograph for... 20 years, 25 years, something like that. And to me, uh, I see a child of God standing there uh, just um, so beautiful and and seeking beauty. And um, and I just I just think he represents exactly what we're supposed to be doing in a lot of ways. And that is just being peaceful and being in nature and recognizing beauty and, and, and capturing it. And, uh, um, so that meant a lot to me. And, and so that's, that was my grand idea, but I just, I just think the concept of goodness is, uh, is a special, special thing. And, um, and I think that that crazy little gorilla there is just pure goodness in my mind. Uh, so that's, that's, that's what I had for the sacred space today. Thanks. Hey, man. Well, John, you have a talent for sacred spaces. And so thank you for bringing that. And just a reminder that this is, uh, is symbolic of our ability to share safely amongst each other. Um, and there's been things I think that almost everybody here has shared that has, in one way or another, informed me and, and, and helped me 
with with uh, other things. So when you, when you do share, you're really lifting up your brother or sister. And so that's awesome. So, and that is our, this is our check-in time. Uh, so what's going on? How's everybody doing this week? And raise your hand if you're able to share. Tana, then Dio, then Jan. I'm glad you're wearing clothes, Shana. <laughs> I know it's a, it's 11 o'clock at home and I still haven't gotten out of bed. But um, it's really super cold out here, like, you know, not sub-zero, but single-digit temperatures. And they're not used to that around here in Washington. And my mother is a lover of hummingbirds. And all of the hummingbird feeders froze and these hummingbirds were flying around, circling around, looking for food. And I was like, oh, my God, I have to save them, you know. And the reality that, you know, if I – people can't do for nature what, you know, I, could, I couldn't save the hummingbirds from nature, but I worried about it all night long, you know. Um, the, I don't know what that's from, Uh to, to stay up at night worrying about hummingbirds, but it happened to me last night and I, I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> I'll pass with that. Thank you. Thank you, Shana. Uh, Good morning. Good morning. Um, it's great to see everyone. Um, I just thank God today that my grandson Dio is getting better. Um, he had the flu and he was not in a good place, it was to the point we had to take him to the doctors and stuff. But thank God he's back home with my daughter because she just, she's COVID free as of yesterday. So it was great. You know, even she had to go back to the hospital because, you know, her throat was inflamed and she couldn't breathe that well. But it just, in that moment, you start to think about the things that are really important and I'm just glad just to have them around and have you guys today as well. Amen. Thank you, Dio. Yeah, God, I don't think we knew that little Dio's uh, been been un under the weather and your daughter, um, but thanks for sharing that. And Jan, you are muted. Good, blessed Sunday morning, everybody. Um, What's been going on here is I was awake till 3.30 in the morning, too, because I ate chocolate last night, silly girl. Um, but our sweet daughter, Liana, is leaving for India today. She's in New York City, and we don't know if she has her visa yet. She doesn't know. She hasn't responded to me. So I think Shana, you know, the mother energy always wants to take care of the little ones. It's just wired it's wired in our dna so um liana has a new boyfriend she's been wanting a boyfriend forever and this guy showed up and he is magnificent i couldn't have written a better you know script of who who and what kind of guy she should be around he moved into the serious community which is up the road <clears throat> and she wants to move in with him after she comes back seven weeks from now in India. So prayers in that aspect, because having her here next door was quite challenging, as you all have heard. And Phil only has one more week and one day of his radiation, which is mind bogglingly amazing that he made it through. It was seven weeks in a day instead of eight weeks. So that's a miracle in and of itself. So staying warm staying safe and prayers for just Liana and Phil and the health matters that we're all facing as we get a little bit older. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Jan. That's exciting. Joseph, you're up. Hello, Holy family. I'm going to take this opportunity to be vulnerable since that's not what my intuition uh, tells me to do. You know, my instinct rather, my instinct tells me to, you know, clam up and keep a stiff upper lip, but my intuition is telling me to open up and tell you that I've been having a lot of difficulty. I've had, uh, you know, I've had my arm and shoulder, my back went out a month ago, so now it's, I've added my back and I'm not able to work. 
in my business and I'm not able to play as much music and I'm um, going into uh, moving into a period here of uh, uh, mental health flare-ups with my anxiety and depression so it's gonna it's been a little, little tough here uh, hopefully um, I got some workups I got an ultrasound for the back I've got an appointment for the shoulder but I'm um, just not just not my normal uh, cheerful joyful self and uh, really um we take, uh, you know, Rob was talking about health, and that's what inspired me to speak. You know, it's really, um, in this country, health care is, is not a right. Your health is not a right. When you're healthy, it's a privilege. And when you're not healthy, God help you. And uh, so I could use some prayers, and I could use some thoughts, and I could use your support. And thank you so much for being with me. Right on, Joseph. You're you're spot on, too, with our issues with health care and, and how do we get help and we're most vulnerable and most needy. So thank you for that. Um, who else? Uh, Randy. Yeah, I just want to pray for the residents and the staff here and also pray for those who have to go out in this weather to work or wherever to be safe on the road. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, we think about uh, those who are under-homed. Under-homed often means that people don't have a place like during the day. They might have a place they can crash at night. It means a lot of things. Um, but uh, under-homed and homeless, and when it's as cold as it is, we know it's a killer. It definitely is a killer. We have lost people to temperature. We don't think about it, those of us who are in our houses a lot, but uh, this is a tough time for that. Um, did I miss anybody? I, uh, Karen? Oh, yeah. And think of me this week, coming week, uh, the 19th is my mom's anniversary. Okay. Thank you, Randy. And did you, are you getting your new wheelchair this week? Uh, they say it was going to be this, this past week, but I called them and it's going to arrive by the end of the month. Okay, so prayers for patience for Randy. Uh, Karen, you had something. Sure, so um, as Randy gets his new wheels at the end of the month, um, I actually had a bucket list milestone this week. And my silly little mini pony and I are just having a blast. I was able to, my brother-in-law was visiting and generously uh, helped me convert the wheels on the cart to us to runners. And so I actually got to drive a sleigh <laughs> with my silly little pony. And we just had the most fun. I cannot begin to tell you, you know, flying over the snow, something that I've always dreamed when I was 10 um and took me 50 more years to accomplish but you know it's never too late <laughs> so um so yeah that was a god moment and a bucket list moment thanks karen yeah that's and awesome. i wish i could take you all for a sleigh ride age is just a number that doesn't mean stop having fun that's right randy thanks so i've got a couple of things and then we'll we'll move on but uh i've been in touch with our friend downtown daniel our brother and um, he lost his stepson, uh, and he wasn't that old. Um, and, uh, so, and, and Daniel's had a rough go of it just with some health stuff. So hold Daniel and, uh, his family in prayer. Um, and then, uh, the second prayer thing is that we lost at the church in Holyoke, uh, our building manager, um, and his name, Mike, I'll just leave it with that, but, Mike passed away very suddenly. Uh, he was not that old. And um, uh, his loss will be uh, hard on the church. He, he managed this huge building. Um, and so, uh, and it's also hard on his family. I talked to his wife. They're definitely struggling with that unexpected loss. And then I want to share a joy because the joy is that yesterday we got to go see my, my mom is a person who likes to move and she's moving. And we all got to go over there yesterday with my mom's grand, great grandchild, some of her grandchildren and some of her, her own children and spouses. And um, 
it's just a really cool place. And I can't wait to get new Faithways people from this uh, place. But um, it was really neat. And my mom's going to have a cool apartment overlooking, well, it with a view of sort of the distant uh, uh, Puget Sound and a really neat bridge used to be called the Galloping Gertie because it's a bridge that wasn't very safe at the time. Now it's two bridges actually, but uh, it's called the Narrows Bridge and goes from Tacoma to Gig Harbor. So uh, congratulations to mom and we're really excited about it. So it was fun for us to all, well, she's not there yet, but we all went over and broke bread together there for a little bit and it was really fun. So lots of good things. So Shana, you have our uh, words of assurance. Good morning, everyone. Um, here are today's words of assurance. This is from John uh, chapter three, verses 18 through 22. Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. This is how we know that we belong to the truth and how we set our hearts at rest in his presence. If our hearts condemn us, we know that God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. Dear friends, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence before God and receive from him anything we ask because we keep his commands and do what pleases him. And this is his command, to believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and to love one another as he commanded us. The one who keeps God's commands lives in him and he in them. And this is how we know that he lives in us. We know it by the spirit he gave us. God invites us to love. God has taught us through his son, Jesus, to love those who are easy to love and to love those who are difficult to love. God wants us to show our love through our actions. In gives our weaknesses, and God loves us unconditionally the way a mother loves a child. May you be held in God's grace and mercy. Amen. Amen. Thanks so much for doing that reading, Shana. Um, it's, it's a good way of, of connecting sort of who we are and what we do with God. And so another way in which we do that is through song. And I think Dio, you have a song for us. Yes, I do. Is I want Jesus to walk with me. I want Jesus to walk with me, walk with me. I want Jesus to walk with me, with me all along my pilgrim journey. All I want is Jesus to walk with me in my shadows, Lord, walk with me, walk with me in my trials, Lord, walk with me. When the shadows of life are falling, all I want is Jesus to walk with me, to walk with me, to walk with me. We just want Jesus to walk with us through our lives, to bless us to hold us as we go through these trials and tribulations wow thanks you know it it amazes me dio and every and all of the rest of you how much the spirit works in these services because they all seem to come together and when i am up for doing the message you know lance and i don't plan this out <laughs> but it just happens and it's pretty fun when that you know the way that that works. So um, 
next we have Jan and she's going to read our scripture and we're going to do something a little bit different today um, for uh, the message. Jan's going to read the scripture and I want you to think about it as she's reading it as it's intended. It's from Isaiah. Isaiah is a prophet of God. And so he's basically giving us words from God. And so as you listen to this, I want you to think about that as words from God to us. Go ahead, Jan. <clears throat> Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the one shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you, the one shines and over you appears its glory. Nations shall walk by your light. Kings and queens by your shining radiance. Rise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow. Great. Thank you, Jan. So this morning, um, I want you to think about each of us is and as a manifestation of God. So do you know what that word manifestation means when I use it in this way? It means each of us is an expression of God, a demonstration of God, a sign of God. And we are in the act of manifesting God each and every day. This is what Isaiah is proclaiming in this passage. We are to shine with the light of God, which is inside each and every one of us. And nations shall walk by your light, kings and queens by your shining radiance. So we're in the season of epiphany, and it's a season of kings and queens following a star, a shining light. It's a season of realization, of figuring out this really important fact. We are expressions of God. And God made us realize this fact by sending his son, Jesus, to be one of us, one of the human expressions of his own self. A tiny little baby starting out just like we did, human and helpless in a cold, dark world. But in that darkness, there was then, as there is now, a spot of light, which was and is God. So I'm going to do something a bit different this morning. Lance is going to put a painting up on the screen called Flow by Angela Mano. And if, Lance, if you could put that up. I want to take a few moments. Oh, I want to take a few moments to make sure here that I, here we go. I needed to get to my different screen. I want to take a few moments of silence for you to really look at this image. Really look at this painting and think about what I just said. Let your mind wander as you study the image. What do you notice? Where do you see God in it? Where do you see you in it? And what is it saying to you? So I'm going to keep a few moments of silence while you look.
Hey, Lance, if you want to put up our second slide. But I want you to look at this image as I talk and just think about what I'm saying a little bit. What this image helped me think about was that all goodness, all the wonderful rainbow joys of life form a path for us through times of utter darkness. Remember Isaiah's words, see darkness covers the earth and thick clouds cover the peoples. What also came to me as I looked at this image is that within all the darkness, there is a light at the end of all roads, a light both inviting us and leading us into abundant overflowing goodness again. The road towards that light forms an eternal circle, a cycle kind of, leading into the heart of God. So the image of the sun is where I see God in this picture. God as pure life-giving light with that green around God, that green of growing surrounding the light. So what I see is this road leading into the heart of God where we are transformed. We walk towards whatever it is that we perceive as giving light and life. And again, remember Isaiah's words, but upon you, the one shines and over you appears its glory. We're invited to constantly reach. We're invited to constantly seek the light, that light that shines in the dark, that light which we celebrate during this season of Epiphany is the infant lying in the manger. The infant lying there is the light which gives us life. We walk the path of that rainbow beauty in all its diverse expressions, a path that holds us and sustains us in whatever way that path appears to us. It might be through a job, a walk in the park, cleaning our house, creating something new, or doing something to lift someone up. But whatever that path looks like, it's what keeps us walking towards God. To not walk that path, to not actively seek it, is to remain stuck with the darkness pressing in upon us. However, when we do walk that path, we walk into the heart of God, into a place we can't really see, which remains a mystery, but where we know God awaits us. So remember Isaiah's words again, raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Then you shall be radiant at what you see and your heart shall throb and overflow. Now I'm going to ask Jan to read the scripture again. And when I do, I want you to think about it as your response to God. So not this time as God speaking to you, but words that you are saying to God as Jan reads it. Arise, shine. For your light has come, and the glory of one shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you, the one shines, and over you appears its glory. Nations shall walk by your light, kings and queens by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow. So what I've demonstrated and asked you to do here is a bit of a spiritual practice called contemplative prayer. And it's an ancient way of developing a relationship of, of feeling closer to God.
by allowing some time and space for God to speak to you in a different kind of way. And a longer and slower version of it is what we do at Silver Bay, um, where I work e each week. And if you're interested, the link that we use um, every week, it's the same kind of recurrent week like we do at uh, Faithways. And it's published as part of our weekly Faithways invitation this past week. So you're welcome to come join in on the Zoom session if you want. And if you work and you're interested in having an evening offering, let me know and I'll see what I can do. So join me in the spirit of prayer. Thank you, God, for being our constant light over the dark places of our world. Thank you, God, for inviting us to be a part of your light. Our hope is in you as you call us to be lights for others. May your light blaze with brilliance and shine your love upon the earth and all who dwell there. Amen. And so now I am looking to Andrew for a song. If you have one there, thank you. Sure do. Thanks, Karen, for that message. Um, I have something uh, a little different this morning. Uh, I'm going to share uh, some words that you guys can follow along. Um, hopefully stay muted and uh, you can read the words and follow along. Andrew. I feel like this morning it should be snow down <laughs> or something, but that's great. Um, and it's true, you know, as the rain comes down on the earth, that sometimes when I am outside and I start feeling that, it, I have to remember this, this is God's love raining down um, and we should treat it as such. So we're coming now to our time of faith abundance. And I'm wondering if um, if folks, it's our second time of sharing. If you've seen God anywhere in your life this week, and I see Joseph with his hand up. I uh, so I I just have to did you did you credit the artist for that painting? Did you say who it was? Uh, yes, it was. Um, I think Jean Mano. I'll send it okay. to you. No, no, no. I have to I have to correct you because she's my favorite artist. The artist oh. is Hil the the artist is Hilma of Klimt. She was a Swedish mystic in, uh -huh. around the turn of the century in the 1900s. And she um, actually was a group of women who, uh, through mysticism, uh, contacted higher realms and painted what they saw. So uh -huh. not, not only is Hilma of Klint a, a, a mystic, but through her painting, she was actually translating uh, spiritual ideas that she was directly downloading through uh, her own meditations. And the important thing about Helma of Klimt is that she was a woman who was way before her time. So you think of like uh, 20th century abstract like Mondrian uh, and Rothko. She, she was actually one of the first people to ever do abstract 
art and to have it displayed in the public. She was, she was a Swedish mystic. She was born in the uh, late 1800s, and she's one of my favorites ever. And that's my speech about Helma Off Klimt. Thank you. I am so excited that you did that. Thank you so much. I did, and I apologize. Then I had the wrong. I'm so glad it's, to have the actually, right artist. It's one, of, it's one of my favorite paintings of all time. So when you no put kidding. it up, oh my gosh, Good. yeah, yeah. <laughs> because Good of that, because when I look at that painting, I see the one in the many. I see mm -hmm. the manifestation of God, uh, the spirit, you know, in the formless taking form in the earth, and that's what I see in that painting. Uh huh. It's it's you know it's one of those practices that I've found really really useful in in sort of using the art to help me to help open me up so that I'm thinking on a different kind of level and and it allows more of a conversation you know between us and God when we do it. Anything else, Shana? Um, when I looked at it, I saw these angels that my mom used to make at Christmas that were triangles, and then the angels had this head, and um, that was one of the images that I made, and I was staring at that angel uh, over the past couple of days because she still has her Christmas tree up, but um, the thing that I saw was triangle being the most, the strongest shape and um, the circle being, you know, representing light and, um, you know, looking up to light, basically, the triangle pointing up to the light and, um, you know, that representing ascension and stuff. So that was my take on the painting. I thought it was very good as well. Thank you for sharing it. Um, thanks, Shanna. I love all the different things that come out with this. John. And then Dio. Oh, John, you want to unmute? Apologies. Lance, uh, Brother Lance already mentioned what a wonderful evening it was last night with the uh, majority of the family and getting to spend that time uh, at this place called Merrill Gardens. Um, after that, we uh, we decided to all go out to a place called Seven Seas, which is kind of a brewery in downtown Tacoma and it's a really neat place huge you know three-story uh, ceilings all that kind of stuff but it also happened to be exceptionally cold in that uh, place last night it was probably it, it may have been freezing while 100 people were hanging out in there drinking and having fun but we all left about probably about eight o'clock. So it was fairly early and everybody took off. And I went to my car and my key fob, uh, I couldn't open my door. It, it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't open, click open my door. And so, uh, and it's probably 20 degrees at this point. So I thought, okay, I, I'll, I'll walk back to the place and, and, um, uh, call the roadside service and, and try to get that all facilitated. And so I went back up to this place. And meanwhile, it's just gotten colder in this facility. And I'm just sitting there by myself waiting for the service to call me. And um, and about uh, about half an hour goes by and I'm just I'm, I'm just beside myself. So I decide I'm going to try to go out and try it again. It was a, it was a block or two from the from the place. And um, as I'm walking out there in the cold, the, the people call and say, hey, what's going on? And I said, well, you know, I was hoping you'd be here a little bit earlier, uh, but this is the situation. And long and short story of that is, even though you use your keyless entry, it actually is also still a, a physical key. And here's where God gives us all different gifts. And one of the gifts he did not give me was a great deal of insight because I it took me 40, 45 minutes to figure that out, that I could have just used that key uh, right from the beginning. So um, I thought it was a funny story and, and, and wanted to share that with everybody. Thanks. Thanks, John. Theo. Yes, um, I thought this message was very profound the way it was set up it really kind of gave us a chance to kind of think about how god really shields us and moves in our life on the daily 
and just really how it looks. And when I looked at that image, you know, I saw God's light. It just a way of protecting me and protecting us that it's always constantly around us. And as that light gets brighter and, and stronger, it also heals us. It warms us and it gives us that level of hope. And I just thought that picture and the sermon and the words were like spot on. Thanks, Dio. I love using different ways to help give messages. So um, I'm glad it worked for you. Christina, welcome. <laughs> so good to see you. <laughs> We're, we're sort of at our sharing time. Was there anything you wanted to share about? Yeah, I had a good night diagnosis this week. I went to um, an imaging place that I have imaging done at. And I have two cysts on my right side. And they're both smaller. They are both smaller. Excellent. Okay, God is good. Confirming that. <laughs> God is good. That's a good abundance of faith for this morning, for sure. Yes, absolutely. Nice to see everybody. <laughs> Anybody else? Rob? Sorry, I was just saying hi to Christina. Okay. <laughs> Did I miss anybody else? I'll say something. Christina. Yes, hi. I'm sorry, I, got, I lost my power. Can you hear me? Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Okay. I lost the power through half of the service, but I'm sorry. Um, it's very, very meaningful. Uh, the art was just so um, incredibly um, demonstrative of all the uh, power that, you know, we all hold and all the rainbows and all the spectrums of all the colors and the, um, the feeling of that sun just kind of surrounding us with this huge amount of, um, I don't know, divinity and holiness, you know, that we see is the, is the circle above us. Um, so I wanted to say, I, I went to a um, 80th um, birthday party yesterday, and um, there was a lot of people uh, there, my family, who were aging, and uh, two of them, my closest, uh, were having, um, one of them had Alzheimer's, which was really difficult for me. But as the day proceeded, um, we looked outside, and outside the window were these two incredible double uh, rainbows that took over the whole sky. And everybody just you know looked up and ran outside and saw these incredible spectrums of you know um these arcs and lights going around and it, it was just phenomenal it brought everybody together and the light it kind of reminded me of um you know today's um you know picture it's like this whole light came all around and almost like a circle circle dust through the rainbows of spectrum so um it was it was pretty special so i just wanted to mention that so thank you yeah thank you Thanks for sharing. Yeah. yeah. Anybody else that I missed? Jan. I just want to thank God for the rainbows and the light and the color. And um, I have rainbow paints around me and paint and Buddhas and my spirituality and my gift of being able to take the moment to be with spirit when I do paintings. And it's been such a blessing in my life that I get to contact spirit whenever I, I do any art. And to me, it's just such a blessing. And that piece was so symbolic of everything, you know, the rise up into the pyramid, which is the mother, father, sun with and to the sun and you know i've been um doing symbolism for 40 years and it's just such a gift and also it's such a mystery the whole mystery of what art and color and and life is all about is just puts me in awe and i just want to thank god for that amen yeah and this would be a great time to thank God for all of the things that we've mentioned here. So if everyone could be in a spirit of prayer with me, we'll do a prayer of thanks. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the light that you bring into our lives. 
for the color, for the expressions of love through paint, through love, through healing. We thank you for all of these blessings that you've bestowed upon us. We ask for your blessing, your special blessing for healing, for Daniel in his grief, for little Dio and for Phil in their illness, for Leanna, for safe travels, for the grief of the family of the building manager at Holyoke, we ask that your arms wrap around them, that you keep all of them and everyone safe in these cold winter months. We ask your blessing on Natalie and her move, that she finds a space of warmth and welcoming and creates your love in a space around her. Hold all of those in transition or in suffering in your arms and help us to reach out with our light to shine upon them. In Jesus' name, amen. So if everyone can unmute, we're going to do our messy Lord's Prayer and after that, I'll have Randy do his um, serenity prayer. So if everyone's unmuted, I'll start it. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, Lord, Lord, be thy name. Be thy name. kingdom come, thy will be done, 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 done as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. Randy, you have your serenity prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things that cannot change, the courage to change the things that can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. Amen. And friends, if you can gather your, whatever you have for communion this morning, we remember that this communion is a meal for everyone. It's God's gift that's given for everyone. And so as we take the bread, we remember how Jesus, before he was betrayed, he gathered in community with his disciples and he blessed the bread, he broke it, and he said, take and eat. This is my body that was broken for you. This is God's light that was broken for us. And then he took the cup. And with that cup, he said, this, take this. This is my blood. This is my blood that's flowing light through you. When you drink it, drink it in remembrance of me. And so as we, we remember God's gifts, to us, the gifts of light, the gift of his son, the gift of blessings all around us for the growth of the earth, for the growth of our spirits. We give you thanks, Lord. And so we remember this morning also that as we are points of light, we give ourselves an offering as light to everyone else that we meet. And that is our offering. We do have the ability, if we want to spread that light a little bit farther to donate to Faithways, and we will take those donations from our website and use them all over, wherever we can, and for whoever we need to. So it's important to remember, if you know someone that needs help, let us know so we can do that. 
because we want to spread it around and be, be that light. And so as we come towards the end, end of our service, I'm looking to someone for a song. Do we have one up there? Andrew, do you want to go ahead and play a song for us? And then we have uh, Rob, who's going to do our benediction. Sure thing. I'm going to share uh, one of my Faithways band favorites here. Lord, have you forgotten me? And I've been praying to you faithfully. Now I'm not saying I'm a righteous man. Lord, I hope you understand. I don't need fortune and I don't need fame. Send down the thunder, Lord, send down the rain. be thankful. I should be thankful, Lord, I know I should. The Lord, I hope this day is good. Bridge again. You've been the king since the dawn of time. All that I'm asking is a little less cry. It might be hard for the devil to do, but it I should be thankful, Lord, I know I should, but Lord, I hope this day is good. One more time. Oh, Lord, I hope this day is good. I'm feeling empty and misunderstood. I should be thankful, Lord, I know I should, but Lord, I hope this day is good. Thank you very much. Beautiful as also as always. All right. I've got one that I looked up this morning. This is from Paul to the Romans. So I hope he doesn't mind if I borrow it for my message to you. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus that together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Go and be the light of the world. That last part was from me. So go and be the light. Amen. Amen. So if everyone one, wants to unmute, yeah. we have um, one minute actually before noon here, but we'd love to have, if anybody has anything to say, feel free. But I wish all of you to be the light of the world this today and for the rest of the week. And just when I see everybody, hey, that's all I see is light. I see everybody's light. Even though I'm late every week, I see everybody's light. Yeah. So glad, uh, Hi, <laughs> see you so all that light up here, Christina. It's kind of gray. <laughs> we need some of that Florida sunshine. <laughs> There's no sunshine here right now. <laughs> Congratulations again, Christina. Huh? Congratulations. Thank you. It's been two weeks. It doesn't feel like it. <laughs> hey, Christina, you're yeah, never late. Beautiful. You're always I'm on time. <laughs> I'm always on time, right? Right. You're always on time. <laughs> Jan, that's beautiful. Everybody. That is beautiful, Jan. Woo. Oh yes. Mom, ha happy oh, birthday yes. to happy birthday to Natalie tomorrow. Happy Ooh, birthday, Mom! Birthday. I wish we had done that happy before birthday, we could have happy birthday to you. Twenty-five years old. Time again. Oh, well, maybe mind. we should do it right now. <laughs> let's sing. Let's sing happy birthday to Natalie right now. Right. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. 
Are you five? Are you six? Are you ten? Are you twenty? Are you thirty? Are you forty? Twenty-one. <laughs> Twenty-one and holding. God bless you, Natalie. Congratulations. God bless you, Natalie. You're awesome. Good luck and tweak. You're Have awesome. Gift. Word. <laughs> You're my gift. Bless you. Bless you guys. Aww. Love You're you, Mom. Here. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, God bless. Bless. John. Blessings. <laughs>
their competency and so forth. So, yeah, anyway. yeah I think you're right, spot on. Spot well, on. you know, anytime you need someone to do something for the program, but I think, um, you know, it doesn't, you don't want to come across as too much family. <laughs> uh, well, it's good. Uh, well, yeah. And I had, um, but no, I appreciate that. Um, What's going on over there? Well, nothing. I mean, we're ready now. So uh, we're, we're, uh, we got, uh, are you, what are you up to mom? Um, I'm here. I just, I'm going to figure out how to turn this thing, little live laptop off. I usually watch some of the news things. Okay. Well, we may. Uh, come, I'm just here. Where's come, Dee Dee? Uh, are you around if we come for a visit? Oh, heavens, yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm here, that's for sure. You're there. Okay. Well, I think. Cosmo we'll and I have walked. And okay. Bring Rosie over. Rosie loves to come over. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Thank you. But it's beautiful out, Lance. Uh, he is a sweet, just a sweet dog. I know. So. I love Rosie. But honey, you do so well. It's just, that whole program is just amazing. Yeah. I still take notes. And I'm sure you can just toss them in the wastebasket. I got your notes from the other day. So that's, <laughs> I appreciate it. And, you know, <laughs> I, I kind of, uh, know that at some point I'm going to go back to these notes and, and I, you know, it's like, I know there'll be a time where I'll go back to them more deeply than I do all the time, you know, so. Well, I don't know how you manage week after week to come up with something new, some program that is focusing. I mean, today was really focused on sun and it's in my eyes. <laughs> ah, right, right. Um, uh I just think it's amazing. I don't know how you figure out who's gonna sort of run the show like Karen was sort of in charge today. Yeah. Hi, Dee Dee. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Dee Dee. Uh, how are you? Hi. <laughs> I'm still at my table here. The sun is shining in. We're talking about the sermon and the talk about sun. So you can you can see it. Yeah, I can see the yeah, the sun is shining in you. Did he has Pat today with his head? Yeah, so they check the CT scan that he had is normal. Everything oh, is normal. God. His his eyes are a little blurry, but I, I think we think it's because it's all bruised. Yeah. It's all yeah. Bruised. I, I don't Oh, think. that's such good news, Didi. So wow. um, oh, I'm so glad. So are you going to church church? Yeah, but I do have a meeting. I'm kind of like debating them. <laughs> What's, the, What's the meeting? I have a deacon's meeting, but I'm kind of thinking I might skip it and say that I'm here because my brother. Yeah, good, you got a good excuse. <laughs> um, well, come and have coffee if you don't go. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm but, just hanging out. Yeah. We'll come. Did you have a good time yesterday, Mom? Oh, it was such fun. Oh. Aren't we lucky? Lucky, lucky. Yeah, it was the cold. family we have and everybody was, that place was a riot that we went to. I know. That was fun. I've never been to a place like that in my life. Helps to have a very active great granddaughter. I know, man. <laughs> man, so you have to, yeah, that I need to make sure you have to be careful with you and my book. Yeah. Keeps you active, too active. Oh no! <laughs> Not active enough. Well, I'm gonna check in on Shana, and then we'll maybe come by, and maybe maybe Dee Dee will come too, and we'll come say hi. Do you want us just... scones or something, or some donuts? Well, I um, come over here, and I can make some breakfast. Well, honey, no, you don't need to do that. No, I I'm just. I'm just happy here. Um, okay, so I thought of, uh, so tomorrow I, I um, sounds like maybe really want to um, see everyone was thinking, you know, we had talked about going to the club for your birthday, but oh. I, don't know, I don't know how you all feel 
about having um, so Alex and Allison and Libby and her boyfriend stuff could come tomorrow. Oh. And he's scared because it's such a big group. Oh, why don't you come here, Diddy? Well, no, because that's kind of this is your birthday, so maybe I know, but it'd be fun, and we could have pizza or something. Well, how about this? We we bring over pizza, and then and then we can have it at your house. Well, because we have dietary, so we can figure that out with the pizza. And well, that would be fun. We'll have drinks and pizza. We'll bring and over pizza. And how, how does that work? My, uh, yeah. Okay. We so, can play charades. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell her that um that 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 will work for Monday. Um, so that'll be tomorrow. Because Pat's going to a thing tonight. And Who is he? Tonight. Him. Where's he going? He's going to do that. Um, they're making dinner. Oh, the men, men, the men who cook. Yeah, the men's. Okay. Do you want to come and have drinks tonight, some wine? I'm just going to hang out here, I think. <laughs> I don't blame you, Dee Dee. No, I just need to, yeah, just, I'm just going to hang out and um, I'll miss them. <laughs> We're going to Olympia. Oh, fun. Staying in Olympia tonight. Are you? Yeah. Have fun, Lance. Yeah. So they're going to go for dinner with John. Like a little honeymoon? Yeah, there we go. Little honeymoon. <laughs> Is there a motel or hotel or something? A hotel. Because um, yeah. <clears throat> I think the Washington Athletic Club has a connection down there that people have used. Oh, really? Are Maybe. you still involved in the athletic club? I think I, I think I am, but I don't, I'm not sure. No, because you have to pay yearly to... To be part of that way, I'm, I don't think so. I don't think I am a member of the athletic club. It had a big fire lands up in Seattle. Oh. Remember that? So it's I don't even know if it's still in the same building. Yeah. Huh. So anyway, there you have it. All right. Well, I think I'm going to see about Shana and see maybe we'll come by and say hello. Okay. It's probably still okay. here so at this point. <laughs> yeah. I'm just here and um, I usually watch these news programs and I have a copy of the New York Times that weighs about 10 pounds <laughs> no Fox News mom <laughs> no Fox News no trust me all right okay well I've got the notes of the program Lance <laughs> all right okay, bye bye back to that. But I'm so proud of all of you. Honest to God, you're totally amazing. No, no, Dee Dee. Dee Dee, where's your hand? Dee Dee, you are, you both amazing. All Make four. Play hide and seek. <laughs> Maybe we should, it'd be fun to call Lori. I know, where was Lori today? Sleeping yeah, I, think she, in. I know she has. According to Facebook, she has a friend and so. Oh, okay. She's busy. busy. I think she has the friends from up here, doesn't she? The Hamricks. I think the Hamricks. So, well, it's all too good. Bye, Mom. Could, if you get energetic, Lance, we could go to the park too with the dogs. Okay. It's pretty cold, Mom. I don't think you'll survive. I do need some exercise, though. Maybe. I walked the dog this morning. It. You did. Oh, be careful! It's really, really cold. <laughs> well, I give you a hint. Even Cosmo didn't want to walk very far. It's too cold. We got to the end of the driveway down by the street out here, and I took him up for the walk on Idlewild, and he just had had enough. So, love you all. I'm, I'm here. Love you.